welcome back to another episode here on the Kingdom of Dash. This is episode 9. This episode, uh, as I stated in the last episode, we are going to be working on our new uh, little project, which is going to be terraforming this uh, nature area into a national park, a nature reserve essentially. Uh, but funnily enough, the first step in reserving this area uh, is going to be demolishing it. So essentially what we're going to do, the game plan for today, let's try and land on this tower. Perfect. The game plan is to cut down all these trees, uh, terraform the land in a way that is nice uh, and worked well for the area. And then we're going to come in with custom blocks. Well, not custom blocks, but coarse dirt, path blocks, uh, stuff like that. And we're going to be making, turning this into a custom forest bound. We're going to grow like the big trees and it's going to be like a national park. And we're going to have a fence around the whole area, a couple gateways. We're going to release all these cows in there and not have them in a fence, uh, like actual fence other than like this, the fence quote unquote, we're going to be doing is like this. Uh, I want to throw some andesite and cracked stone in here as well, but it's pretty much uh this that we started on the last episode it's what we want to do and we want it to go all the way around this area so that we can get this nice uh area preserved and we can have a nice forest in this area which essentially is our excuse for not filling this entire area with buildings uh because we want this whole place let's go up as far as we can we want this whole place to be lakeshore uh but we so we need an excuse to not make this whole area a town and uh, we're going to terraform it and turn it into a park right here in the middle of our town which i think is actually going to turn out really nice so uh, i'm going to go on ahead and gather up a bunch of materials and uh, start clearing this out we're probably going to time lapse a lot of this so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys after we've got some progress done <laughs>
All right, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse and those clips. It's been quite a bit since uh, I've last spoken with y'all. Uh, probably about a week I've been working on this on and off. Let's get a flyby of exactly everything we have worked on. So we've cleared out all the trees. I've done a ton of terraforming. And no, it doesn't look like it right here. That's probably the least terraformed bit. Uh, mainly worked on terraforming these areas right around here, smoothing it out. And then as you can see right here, adding cliff faces uh, along these uh, you know along these hills uh, and uh, we've I've gone ahead and like put in you know our variation that we are going to do uh, in this area uh, it's essentially coarse dirt brown concrete powder path blocks and grass I think it looks good uh, kind of roughens things up and once the trees are on top of it and there's like leaves on the ground and stuff as well it's gonna be amazing uh, we're using stone and andesite here pretty much exclusively no cobblestone because it's a little bit too dark uh, I've also switched all the cobblestone out just about I think up oh, missing some pieces um, but out of these as well there's another piece I'm missing but most of it is gone and I've also you know done the cliffside here uh, back up behind this and all the way along this this is the big chunk the big boy I think I lost this part um, or some of the cliff parts because I did uh, probably like one big four hour session with it and I think at least one of those got corrupted I'm not sure uh, if I took a pause between yet I'll have to you know get to the video editing but if you saw this uh, then you know obviously it, it worked out and if you didn't in this first time you're seeing it then I am sorry um, but yeah I really like how this looks you know it's not finished uh, this area because we still have to do this upper part and we're also going to bring the cliffside uh, part around uh, to this area. Uh, hopefully I'll get that uh, all replay modded up correctly. But essentially what we want to work on now is, you know, that little cliff area and bringing our, you know, groundwork uh, along this entire area and finishing up this wall. And I want to add like a gateway entrance, one or two of them along the path, probably one around this area and then one down in this flat area as well. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to get back to work and do some more time lapses. So uh, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Sorry I didn't get too much of the texturing and terraforming down in the, the last bit of this. And there's a very good explanation for that, but before that, let's take a look. This is what we are looking at when it's all said and done. I really am, like, really happy with this. It's probably one of the favorite, my favorite things I've ever uh, built, and it's like a really, really long time. Um, and it's just been very difficult to get large chunks in, which is why there wasn't uh, many replay time lapses and stuff like that. And it's been difficult to record because of other situations and stuff like that. And I'm so sorry this episode is so insanely late. Uh, there's definitely a good reason for that. Um, I'm going to try and do better for these uh, this next month or so uh, and get some good uh, frequent episodes out every single week uh, like originally planned for the series. Um, so the reason 
Uh, it's taken so long, and let's, you know, here's our little gateway right here. The reason it's taken so long to get this episode out uh, is because some of you may know, um, I go to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville, and uh, because of everything that's happening, um, the uh, school has closed down uh, due to coronavirus, um, and uh, our classes are being moved online. Right now, it is my spring break, but classes start online next week. Um, so that's good, uh, but uh, before this whole coronavirus thing even happened, uh, my hometown is in Middle Tennessee, and my house was hit by the tornadoes uh, and affected pretty badly by the tornadoes uh, in Middle Tennessee, uh, near Nashville and stuff, uh, a couple weeks before that, uh, ar around the beginning of March, I think like March 3rd or something like that, uh, or March 2nd, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it was sometime around there. Uh, is when this all happened so uh, I had to come home for about a week and help out uh, in any way that I could I just took a week off of school apologized to my professors and headed home they totally understood it was they're very kind very good professors at the university um, and they are being very accommodating with the online classes as well so that's been been very grateful for that but essentially um, a lot of the house was affected, some of the roof, and uh, we've been, my parents were trying to move out and sell the house even before the tornado started. They had re-carpeted everything, repainted, um, and now that all has to get redone again uh, because of water damage, because it blew some of the roof open and water, a ton of water got in. Um, so, uh, we've just been trying to work on that, and they've actually moved out of this house. I'm still in it, uh, me and... Kaylee and my sisters are still in the house. Uh, we're, we're manning it. Um, it's kind of supervising things, getting worked on and stuff. But it's been difficult because we have roofers coming in all the time. It's never a good time to record. So that's why there weren't progress updates either uh, during all of this. Um, but yeah, just been so busy that I could I could find 10 minutes to hop on and do a little bit of, uh, you know, grow a tree. Uh, and then, you know, do this little stump stuff. And then I had to get off and I could find 10 or 20 minutes later in the day to do a little bit of terraforming or texturing and yeah so it didn't really make for a great time lapse um so that's why i didn't bother with doing that um and i was I'm so stressed uh over the past couple of weeks haven't uh really had the capacity to worry about stuff like that um but yeah uh, since we are <laughs> Since we are uh, definitely pretty much on lockdown, working on social distancing now, uh, there's not much else I have to get for the house, um, you know, other than occasionally getting groceries, which we may just even order. Uh, trying to practice good social distancing, I'll be in the house more. Uh, I've got all my stuff moved out from Knoxville, uh, back here at my hometown for the next few months. Um, so, uh, hopefully going to be getting some good frequent weekly episodes out to you guys um the first of which for next week i want to give you guys a little uh, preview to because uh, i think that with the completion of this forest we that lakeshore is at a good uh stepping off point for now because we've got three parts we've got the port we've got our national park right here and then we've got the main town right here and where i do want to add uh more uh houses and stuff along right here and maybe add a little bit more on, on top of this hill or concentrate some more and put some here uh, I definitely think we're at a good place to where we can step away for a little bit and go work on something else uh, and what we're going to be working on is a castle a few episodes back I scouted out a location for the castle and uh, I've actually since found a new location and I'm taking you guys to it right now it's not very far it's just right on up in these uh, in this dark oak forest on top of a hill what we're going to do is we're going to clear the trees uh and it's going the castle is just going to sit up on top of this hill right here uh it's like a nice long rectangular hill uh, it's going to be very nice right here this uh thicker square part we could have like towers branching off into this area um and it's definitely going to have a lot of height variation and i think it's going to be really good um so look forward to that in the next couple episodes uh in the next couple weeks so that's all I had for this episode. Let me just show you real quick just how close we are. And I decided to move the castle location closer because I want everything to be connected up. And look, it's just, we could pretty much 
connect that up by river and have a pathway going along the shore all the way there it'd be very easy to do that and once we've got that done or if you know to a point where we've got lakeshore at uh, we could do you know maybe another thing across the river or across the bay that way and then eventually have smaller little points of interest between each larger build uh, kind of connecting our world up um, so yeah I really am looking forward to this world growing and expanding as it has so much already so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode my name is Dash and as always thanks for watching Thank you.